Hi everybody, my name is KDC Firefist, and welcome to the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I played the game before, I was gonna do another episode. But when, after I thought I completed the episode, it turned out that the video was not catching... The, the video didn't record anything except for the title screen, so... And I already saved above my last save point. And, yeah, so, <laughs> um, there's a bit of a time gap between this episode and the next. And I'm so sorry about that. But I feel like that's, that's kind of the issue we have now. So, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so let me catch you up to speed. Uh, this is what happened. So, the next day... I picked out a bunch of letters. I picked out a bunch of words for Yuri. That was my goal. I wanted to impress Yuri, but Sayori was not feeling well, or at least she was upset, and she wasn't feeling happy. She left home early. She wouldn't talk to me. She didn't even. She didn't even share her poem with me. I tried to share my poem with Natsuki. She was just a straight up bitch. She was like, "Hell no." Monica. Well, Monica's Monica. Also, I had a theory that. Okay, so. The game, the warning of the game said that this was a, uh, the warning of the game said that this was, that this was not for children under the age of 13, that this was easily disturbing. Sorry, I got glasses on, I'm playing on two different screens now. And I can't see crap, so I gotta look ahead. Anyway, uh, so, my theory was, I don't see demons happening in this movie, I don't see monsters like Wendigo or anything like that. So, I feel like I'm in a yandere situation. I feel like that's what's going to happen. I'm going to... I'm going to... One of these girls is a yandere. And I have my suspects. They're all of them. <laughs> uh, I feel like Monica's the yandere. Because when I play the mini game, when I pick out the words for the poem, I don't have any options for Monica. It's all either Sayori, Natsuki, or Yuri. So, I feel like ya Monica is going to be jealous, and she's going to do the, she's going to do a thing where, hold on, I'm setting up a timer for an hour, because this last, the last episode that I posted up was two hours, and I didn't like that. So, I feel like ya Monica's a yandere. Monica's the yandere, she's going to kill all the girls, and she's going to try and have me. When I reject her, she's going to try and kill me, too. I don't think it's Sayori, because Sayori just confirmed to me that she has extreme depression. Also, I feel like she has hidden feelings about me, and that kind of terrifies me. So yeah. And I also feel like it's Yuri. I feel like Yuri would be a yandere. I f no, really, I am definitely sure it's the girl that I date, because all she's going to get jealous of all the other girls. I feel like Yuri's the real yandere right now. Because she just, uh, earlier in the game, when I played, I'm sorry that I, you missed a whole bunch of it. I'm not good at recap. Yuri is probably going to be become a yandere. She has a fascination of knives. She has this really powerful knife that's stupid sharp, so I feel like she's going to cut people. And yeah, uh, that's going to be terrifying to think about. Anyway, um... I had, a, I had an option to be with one of the four girls during the weekend, and I went with Yuri, for obvious reasons. I could have been with Sayori. I feel like Sayori really needed me, but fuck Sayori. She has depression, that's her problem. I, I related to her, actually. I related too much to her. So we're going to play some Yandere. Or we're gonna, ah. <laughs> I might get Yandere Simulator later. Now, let's play some... Uh, let's, let's play some... Ah, and let's play some Doki Doki. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll continue to make progress on the paper. All right, we're in my room. I cut myself on a knife, and Yuri sucked on my finger to stop the blood. It was kind of shocking. <coughs> I might post up the video, or share the recent video that I made, so you can see the reactions. I don't know. Maybe not. I didn't want to, because you weren't going to see anything. Oof. After we finish attaching our paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and every uh, and will be very effective as a door curtain. 
Hey, it looks great. Good thinking on coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. Well, that's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. Why watercolor? I like. Well, I think watercolor is a good way to paint. It's a good way of starting paint. But really, it's all see-through and wet. We need about six cups of water to put it, each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cup too much, it'll be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. That's smart. You don't want to... You don't want to put that in there. <laughs> I put them um, on a plate to, to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it a bit too hot here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. I have concerns now. Mm. I have massive concerns. Yuri had an uproad sleeve. She had a sleeve rolled up. She had a knife sharp enough to cut pay, cut, cut flesh like paper. I'm worried. I'm worried about Yuri now. I feel like she's cutting herself. So I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner? Gradient? Is that the word? Gradient, yeah. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I can write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall and the, on the podium in front of the classroom. Gotta hand it to Yuri. She knows her stuff. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it would be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After we're on rolling the better, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. But we'll be scooting in close, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of more of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. Oh yeah, uh, in the video that failed and I couldn't refix. Yeah, Sayori confirmed she had massive depression. <laughs> and I'm also spending a Sunday with Yuri. That's why she's over at my house in a turtleneck. Ah. I'm, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. I, I didn't... Ah, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you... Yeah. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I don't usually even want to. It's just like... I just like it when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. She reminds me a lot of Soul Dark Shadow. It's uh, one of my gaming buddies. I think I mentioned this before. <laughs> Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I'm gonna put that there so it's in front of me. I think it take. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply staring at the, at the experience with someone can make me happy. I feel like the, I feel, I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. 
This is so freaking cute! Ah! Oh, then. <laughs> Sorry. Um. I don't know that. When I read too much, my mouth gets weird. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm not hurt. It, it just startled me. That's all. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. And and your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Lick it off. Lick it off. <laughs> Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and get a towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. Is there something wrong? Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. So sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to restrict my hands, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Well, wait. Yeah? Just for a little bit longer. Okay. This took a turn I did not expect. It feels really nice. Ah, uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost into a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? It's the aroma of the jasmine giving me this dizzy feeling. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, a send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much more closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah, uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Are you FUCKING KIDDING ME! GET WITH HER ALREADY! <laughs> Yuri picks up her rush again. <sighs> but her movements seem closer. <sighs> like she's unable to focus. Yeah, she's got the K and the D and the Z in her mind. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> I rage <laughs> oh, silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I instantly retrieve my own paintbrush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish the night sky with little dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty natural and it's pretty. It's really. It's. It's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. I needs it needs to dry first. That's true, but that won't won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then you uh, then have you bring it in this morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? At that moment, when you looked into my eyes. I like that. Do that again. Ah, no, it's not that. <sighs> ha! Man, I'm sorry I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm glad we managed to get everything done. I see. <laughs> I am too. I was I was just I was a little concerned about time. I just need to I need to sit down. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? 
I was secretly hoping we'd have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself, I, I think it would be irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be a little more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is, we got everything done, right? Ah, yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Okay, Etherig, all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely got the opportunity to spend time with friends in relaxed environments. That doesn't mean this time can... This last time can happen. <laughs> this isn't the last time that could happen. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I was glad to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow? Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you got like going to assemble over my word. Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, KDZ. Yuri takes a step closer to me then briefly squeezes my hand. The ship is sailing! Get together! Whoa! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! You're, you're too close! I'm scared now! Well, I'm not supposed to respond to that. But I don't get a chance if suddenly Yuri pulls back. This is Sayori! Eh? You cock blocking bitch! Yuri got in the way. Uh, hi, KDZ. Sayori, just know we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, KDZ. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we really, really, we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... That's fine, right? Of course, Sayori beams. Yes, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries up. I'm pissed at her. I am pissed at her. You. You know who I'm pointing at. That girl right there in the corner. She's a cock blocker. Everyone's a cock blocker. If I see Andre. <gasps> Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, well, I did try to say, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come out here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. You guilt-tripping bitch. How close you got to her? It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that really matters to me. Tears start flying down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, KDZ? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is split in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. Well, this would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, KDZ. I was, if I wasn't here, you would have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. This is what I was talking about. This is the part that you all missed, because I was an idiot. I didn't realize what I was doing. But, yeah. She's freaking out. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori... What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you isn't the burden your mind is making it out to me. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, 
I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Sorry looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, KDZ. I'm really scared. Why are you scared, though, Sayori? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. Whoa! Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Katie's. I like you so much that I want to die. <laughs> that's how I feel. And, and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slid my hands down and I slid my, I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her arm, hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. No! Don't give me the choice, you asshole! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I wanted. Cause now, what, what the hell do I do now? This isn't what I want. This is not what I want at all. No. Cause if I tell her that she'd be my dearest friend, that I hurt her, cause I like Yuri more. But if I say that you'll always be my dearest friend. She'll be so... She'll be hurt. Like, she's in love with me. She's confessing her love to me right now. This is not the situation I want to be in. Ugh. You know what? I am... Um, I don't know what to do here. I don't know... I don't know what to do here. Because I've been... I've been hanging out with y Sayori way longer than I've been with Yuri. Yuri is just so... Fucking adorable! I'm, uh... uh. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Okay, um... Yes, ends up with the mouse. I I don't I don't know 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 okay I'll do that I'll do that one I love you eh those are my true feelings there's no way you could like me any more than I like you I should have realized it sooner but spending time with everyone at the club making new friends and having fun with you every day. Now I realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I accept, I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'd both be happy. Katie. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Casey. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I did the right choice. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, sorry, Yuri. I had to put you down. Oh shit, she had the knife. Yuri, Yuri had the knife. Oh fuck, I fucked up. I <laughs> feel Sayori's grip raking around me. What's this, Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now. Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, KDZ. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better, okay? But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. 
I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Well, go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Kate, easy. Sarah glazes at me once again, smiling sadly. And if I really, if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh, I don't understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, sir? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. We don't. None of us ever do. It's confusing. I felt like a bunch of I felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I'd let say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. I'm having as much trouble as understanding Sayori's feeling as she is. And though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori means by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'll be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but that's decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the, prefer the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant test, reminding her not to forget everything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way about the feel. I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend it, spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. KDZ, where's the music? Where's the music? <laughs> You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing booklets on each desk of the classroom. They must be the ones prepared for that has all the poems we're performing. And I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Now that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on the days on this... On days this important, she tried a little harder. I'm scared now. There's no music. I say that, but I suddenly remember Sayori told me yesterday. I suddenly feel awful, knowing that it's not nearly not that simple for her. I only said it because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, KDZ. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. How did you know that? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. The lack of music and the terrifying thought that you know that is starting to give me goosebumps. But I stammer embarrassed. Did Siri tell her about that that quickly? About it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. Okay, I'm really concerned. Where the hell is the music? You don't know the full story, so at all. Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Monica! Ugh, I don't... Okay, the one person I trust right now is Natsuki. I trust her more than everyone here right now. Eh. Monica is being as friendly as usable. For some reason, I felt like a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, you want to check out the pamphlets? No! They came out as really nice. Where's the music? <laughs> oh, Mary! I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each poem is neatly printed on each page, giving, them, giving it almost a professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's the one that I haven't read before. Mom! Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. 
Huh? What the fuck's happening? What is this? Reading the palm, I get a pit in my stomach. Kid easy? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I didn't, I didn't finish that. The palm is completely different from everything else in Sarah's friend. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Siori, so. Ah! Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Shit got dark! Oh god! <laughs> no! Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not that big of a deal to wake her or go wake her up. But even a simple gesture of walking her to school makes me feel really, ha makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. That's all I want. That's what I want to give her. My stomach is hurting. I'm scared. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Sayori? She really has a heavy, heavy sleeper for swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That's really something a boyfriend would do, really, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. It's, it, isn't it kind of a reach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh my god! What is with the sock? No! What the hell? Is this a nightmare? What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> this is real. There's no way this could be any of this could be real. Sarah so wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe my what my eyes are showing me. I'm suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sierra I would be there for her. I told her I would I know what's best and that everything would be okay. And why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. <laughs> why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her. Walked her to school and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Undertale. If I, I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I, could, I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 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 What? What? No! <laughs> I see an annoying girl. I don't know what's going on here. What the fuck? What is going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is going on here? Is this Sayori just 
wiped from existence? What the fuck happened? I don't know what's going on. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm terrified. <laughs> I, I always tell myself that it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content getting on by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. It's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever. I'm October 4 now. I pack up my things and start looking at the wall looking for an awesome movie. Clubs. There really aren't many that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. Them. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Get easy? Monica! Oh my goodness! I, didn't to I totally didn't expect to see you here! It's been a while, right? Ah. Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. We really talked, but we were in the same class as last year. This is some freaky shit right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smire, smile so genuinely feels a little... What did you come here for anyway? Okay! Um, new theory! This is way more than I expected it to be. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? I, uh, okay, I told Sayori that I loved her. That happened. And as a result, she hung herself. And then time completely reset back to this Monday. Am I reliving the same week? And now Sayori is white from existence. No, I'm not. I'm not even kidding you. I'm I'm living the same week where I have to join the literature club. But since Sayori isn't there to motivate me in there, Monica has to take my pl her place. I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know, if there's any construction paper here or markers, I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature cl club. Mom? Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing, because there's only three of us so far. Oh my god, Sayori doesn't exist! It's really hard to find new members or something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature could be reading. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, kid, easy. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Is every girl I'm going to hang out with gonna commit suicide? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't want to ask you to join, but... You could at least visit my club. It would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Awesome! You're really sweet, KDZ, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I look forward to the materials of another lifetime. You're more important. Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Now my dick's leading me around instead of Yayori yanking it around. Well. Fuck me sideways. 
I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit and generally use for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. What was that? What was that? <laughs> eh? A, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? <laughs> you way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. Uh, anyway, welcome to the club, KDZ. All the words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I don't want to date any of them now! <laughs> well, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? <laughs> I wish. What? <laughs> no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl whose sour attitude is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri. This Yuri is this is Yuri, the vice president. Oh, so that's what that's the glitch. It's nice to meet you. And Yuri, who appears completely more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. I ran into KDC in the classroom and decided, he decided to help uh, come check out into the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought in anyone new? I was going. Well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget, but just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. There's no cupcakes. What the fuck? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks into the corner and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, alright? Okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort into start something brand new. Especially when it comes to something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to, convict pe to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well... I guess Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls still interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these two. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, she doesn't. Doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri's just trying to impress you. That, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, that's you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. At least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles for self in relief. KDC, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how well I've little I've written, read this year, I really don't know a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself half joking. Natsuki's head perks up. That's the manga lover. Okay, um, this time I'm going with the Sundere. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something but keeps quiet. Not not much of a reader, I guess. That could change. What do I say? Let's talk without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the river she cut with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Ah, oh, we're going through this shit again. Hmm. Yuri goes on passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements and usually immerse me as well. 
Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately and uh, take advantage of your own task of imagination to completely throw you out for a loop? I read all of this before. I'm going sk to skip past most of this. I expect that from you, Yuri. <laughs> How's that so? Real really, if a story makes me think, it takes me to the world comfort now. Blah. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Ah, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm skipping through most of this. I've already seen most of it. Yeah, this is... This is... Okay, I don't know what I expected. Truest form of writing is just... <sighs> sorry. I'm just... I want to see the differences. Now. How about this? Natsuki Lakun. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we can see. Okay, without Sayori here, this just got a little less scary. Am I gonna play the game until all of them are dead? I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start fighting at least for us. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems a good step for us to take. Did you agree that to me? Hold on, there's still one problem. Oh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important... Ah, I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and them. I lose my train of thought. All these girls stare blank at me with the directed eyes. I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. <laughs> I guess I need to tell you the truth, Katie. The thing is, we don't have enough members to yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear decision when it's like this? I'd feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend time with these beautiful girls, Alright, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Did you really mean that, KDZ? Yeah. What happens when one of you dies? Then there will only be three! It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. KDZ, I'm so happy. We could become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You are really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we, with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting that we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. Katie, see, I look forward to seeing how you would express yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the classroom and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day in school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure I'm fine and I'm sure I'm and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess my that starts with my my poem tonight. Yes. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent time together, and she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized that she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party interfered with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. The contradictions caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. What the hell? 
What is with this game? <laughs> I'm... I'm going to impress Natsuki. She likes simple words, so this will be easy. Fuck. Fuck. Simple and cute words. Everything just got starry and dark and what the hell? Let's go with Natsuki. Milk. Cheeks. <laughs> Kisses. This got dark. Holy fuck. I feel like Monica knows a lot more than she's letting on. Oh yeah, kitty. Hi, buddy. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me. At least I keep my word. Well, I'm back to the literature club. I was last to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Oh, God, what the hell was that? Ah, stop the glitching! How is it too overwhelming of a commitment for you? Hey, can you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? What the hell? What the hell? No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> um, oh my god! <laughs> you already did. I had to be dragged here by Monica. <gasps> oh my god! You plan to come here and hang out or what? Even if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. You're over the text! Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated. I'm sorry, KDC. We'll make sure to put you comfort first, okay? She shoots Natsuku with a disappointed glance. But, um, anyway, now you're in the literature club and all, perhaps you have a little interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So I know it feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Well, wait, I didn't mean it like that. Um, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. That's not that, Yuri. I just want to try to be part of my club, of this club. Even though I don't read that often, I'm happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president all, then I should help you get started on something you might like. Pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, but it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Is this... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I'm scared now. Did you see her face? No! <laughs> I wouldn't kiss that if... Like, I feel like if I kissed that, my, like... <laughs> I'd be ripped from existence. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I was expecting my kick off schedule. For... That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. And I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around through the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki and utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. They approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? <laughs> what the hell? No! That's demon text right there! No! No! I made a bad choice! She never put my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to mess it up? 
Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books across boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of the things where you can't admit if you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. That is very true. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lot of... There's a lone volume of manga miss a stack of various books on the side of me in one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! That's like he snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns... Then she turns to a box of manga and slips the volume back into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Oh, she's a clean freak. Mother... I know that feel. I get it closer to the box and she's admired. Parfait, girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the do it through the glass on the door. She points to the glass classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I was just the, it was the tone of your voice. I still tell you one thing, KDZ. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature. No, 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 no! no. Oh, God, no! Mom! Don't judge a book. And I fuck up somehow? In fact, Natsuki points out a first body of the parchment girls. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful, striking, animated feminine poses. It's exciting. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Ooh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Then she takes a seat and gets the wall beneath the windowsills. She points. She pats the ground next to her, signally, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time that way. Why is that? Because uh, it's easier to be closer like this. Hey, th don't just say that! You'll make me feel weird about it! Natsuki crosses her arms, it scooches an inch away from me. So sorry, I didn't expect her to be sitting this close to me. I didn't expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I could say it's particularly a bad thing. I opened the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again... Inches closer, reclaiming the additional space she hopes I won't notice. Total Sundre. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've finished, already finished the series. Are you going, are you paying attention? Uh. I am, but nothing's happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of friends in a high school. Typical slice of life affair. I grew, I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough for the lack of plot. Wow, she got way cuter than I thought. Wow. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? No, it's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing someone you like with some something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince one of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Oh, that's so that's that's twin tales right there. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't? Uh, that's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Yep, twin tails. Uh, I know those kind of people. So honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I don't even think I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated, toward, I gravitated toward other losers over time. But it's harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, stop that scary text. This is... You're terrifying me! I feel like you're speaking from the mouth of Zalgo! <laughs> My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Is every... Why is everything so dark now? Stop the carrying music! 